I just had to let you know you're Welcome back to another one of my vlogs. I haven't actually started this vlog yet, like me talking yet, so hi. Um, it's Sunday and I have been really chilled today. To be honest, this whole weekend has been chilled, which I kind of like. I'm gonna try and pop you up here because but um today basically I went out for a bit in town, I bought a couple of bits. Um, so I'm going to show you those because this whole vlog is basically going to be about makeup So I hope you don't mind Um, because I know a lot of my recent videos have either been buying makeup or whatnot But I've been really getting back into buying makeup Which is bad because I really need to buy some more summer clothes But it's fine Um, so I have bought a couple more bits which I'm going to show you in just a second And I'm going to organise my makeup because I got very kindly gifted some sort of acrylic um, storage and I love acrylic storage it's really handy and I've got a new in makeup drawer in my Alex Nine drawers if you didn't know already and there's so many products in there that I want to try but because I don't always go in that drawer I don't always see them and then they either go out a day or I just find other things that I love a lot more than I think I'd love them so I just declutter them and it's like a vicious cycle it's a waste of money and I don't want to do that anymore so I'm going to reorganize my makeup have a look through see if there's any bits I want to declutter as well um but I'm not making a main video out of this I'm going to turn it into a vlog because it's a lot more chill a lot more casual and yeah so these excuse like the dirt on here I'm going to dust and everything um excuse the mess but these are the new drawers I've been given um and these ones I got rid of my old Primark ones I had because these ones are from Primark and I think these might be from Primark too I'm not too sure um but I got rid of my old ones because they were cracks this is a new one that I was gifted very kindly and this one as well which I really like so I haven't got anything like this but you've got two thin drawers and then two little drawers at the bottom which are going to come in really really handy and I've got some new makeup which you would have seen if if you've watched my recent shopping vlogs i'll link them in the description but the princess cut triple baked highlighter and the Too faced liquid gold liquid lipstick slash liquid lip gloss whatever you want to call it um my lipstick holder which is a lot higher up now but it works which i'm really happy about it doesn't look too bad and my makeup brushes will be going there again i've got my makeup from today to put away now everybody asks i'm not gonna lie about what i like gold i, I bleh, what gold glitter i use and it's from the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. As you can see, it's been pretty, pretty used there. Um, it's from the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, which I know, I think, is no longer available. I don't know. They don't really keep their collections out that long, I don't think. But it is a really, really gorgeous palette. And the only thing, well, the only two shades I've really used is this glitter and this. So this is how my new makeup drawer is looking, which isn't too bad, to be fair. But, like, these things here, like, I really want to try the Benefit Cabral. Um this powder which i have used which just haven't got any room for another drawer um and just like bits and pieces like this like this um urban decay mascara i want to keep out so i can try the glow primer pieces and also in this drawer there's like this brow palette and i need to put sort out some brushes and just sort of have a look through really but yeah i have if you didn't know i've got this is my everyday makeup drawer then I've got the rest of my base products. And then we've got eyeshadow palettes and things like that. Because you know, they're one of my favourite things to buy. And then face palettes and high-end palettes. Um, this is starting to get a bit fuller now. Because um, I've been on the makeup like bandwagon again. Um, but yeah, i just got my higher-end palettes. Except the Revolution one. It's just because there was no room anywhere else for it. And just face palettes I've got anyway. A couple of Revolution ones. I've got a new look one under there. I've also got a um, City Colour collection, which is one of my favourite highlighters ever. It's so good. The pigment is insane. Um, so, yeah, then I've just got my new makeup drawer, which I've just shown you. But, yeah, there's just a couple of bits I want to sort out. Like, I'll leave my sponges in here and certain things, but there's definitely some bits that I want to take out of here and put in the drawers so that I actually see them on a daily basis and can use them. I have one of my Alexander drawers because I thought it'd be pretty convenient if my studio light is here because obviously i'm going to be sorting through the drawers in a minute but i thought i'd show you the things i picked up from town today i did film a couple of clips nothing major um but yeah i'm going to show you the non-beauty things first because you know i'm actually really really excited about these so i pretty much every time i go into town i go into the works because they're just such they've got such good bargains basically so i got 
this. Now, when I saw it, I was like, I have to buy that. That is a no brainer. Um, it's the I a Discovery of Witches book. Now, if you've been following my channel for quite a while, you will know me and my mum had a deep obsession. Well, me more so than my mum because I compulsively watched it on repeat for like two months after watching it for the first time. Um, and I've never read the book before. There are three books altogether in this sort of trilogy, series, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, and there has been a second and third season confirmed, which I'm so excited about, but also nervous about. If you've watched Discovery of Witches, then you'll know exactly what I'm on about because the finale left a massive cliffhanger. So yeah, but my mum's on chapter five of the book, which I didn't even realise she was reading it. And she said it's absolutely insane. I read nearly the first chapter and it is so good. Um, it was sort of like creased when I bought it but I was like you know what I don't care I just want to get it because I saved £4.99 on this because it retails at £4.899 and I got it for £4 so yeah I'm very excited. Hollyborn um, and this is How Hard Can Love Be and this is so my sort of book if you watch my previous hauls where I bought books and you'll know I love the sort of like rom-com like teen books you know um, and the blurb says, so I'm spending the summer in California with the mum who upped and abandoned me and I think I'm falling for a guy guaranteed to break my heart. This is a situation destined to fail. All Amber wants is a little bit of love. Her mum has never been the caring type even before she moved to America. But Amber's hoping that spending the summer with her can change all that. And then there's Prom King Kyle, the serial heartbreaker. Can Amber really be falling for him even with best friend Evie and Lottie's advice? There's no escaping the fact love is hard. Holly is the pure, real, honest voice of ya whatever that's supposed to mean um so yeah and she's got two other books well she may have more but on the back it shows two other books am i normal yet and what's what's a girl gotta do so yeah i'm very excited to read this it sounds so my sort of thing super drug i bought some things from the mua counter because they have just launched their summer um range and i'm really excited about it there are other bits i want to pick up but i just thought you know what i'll just stick to this for now um so they have three shades of these um and i got two of them so these are the glow mua roll on shimmer face and body now i have i looked it up on their thingy and you can use these on your eyes and i was going to anyway if i'm honest um and i swatched both of these and they looked stunning so this is in the shade Desert Shimmer, and then this one, which is a bit different, and it's a bit bold, is in the shade Tropical Azure, which I think is just stunning. And I love the packaging, I love how they've done it, it's so simple but so effective. These retail for £3 each, and at the moment my local Superdrug anyway is doing a 3 for 2 on all cosmetics. So I did get one of these for free, um, but yeah, they have an illuminating fixing spray, which I think so many people are doing now, um, like as in more affordable brands, because I know Iconic London, I don't know if they were the first to do it, but they were the ones that like really got the hype um and since then like all sorts of drugstore brands have been trying to dupe them um i want to try quite a few of them because i love the idea of a glowy mist on my body and on my skin so yeah but i'm really excited to test these and if i get the rest of the collection then i will do a whole video on it because i just think they just look so gorgeous and for people that love glowy bronzy looks i think this could be a collection really up their street and this is the glow mua highlight kit in golden kisses um, it just looks amazing and I do want to potentially get into tanning for summer I don't know whether I'll actually be brave enough, but it's worth a go um, And even if I keep to the same sort of foundation or if I go up a couple of shades It doesn't matter because like, you can always bronze yourself up and I think this would be the perfect thing for it But you do have the lighter lighter alternative shades as well and um, These sort of look like the shades I could use for eyeshadow as well But this retails for five pounds, which I thought was really really reasonable and I'm really excited to give these a go, especially these shimmers, because they swatched gorgeous. If you watched my previous shopping um, trips and hauls, then you would have seen that I got some amazing bits and pieces from TK Maxx. Now, I went into Kiko first, and they had this brow palette, which I thought, oh my god, that looks so good. Really, was like £12.99 or something. I was going to get it, and I thought, you know what, no, I'm not going to bother, like, I'll leave it for now. I go into TK Maxx, and I find that exact brow kit. For £5.99. In the shade I wanted. If that's not the makeup universe trying to get me to spend my money, I don't know what is. Um, but yeah, this is the Brow Ex Ex Eyebrow Expert palette. Um, and it looks like this. I love Kiko's packaging. And then inside you get a brow wax, a light brow powder, and a dark brow powder. You get an angled brush that looks a bit like this. You get a little mini spoolie, which I think probably, 
think this work is like really small and then you've got tweezers at the top which i think is really great and literally this is the shade i wanted um and it hasn't been touched as well that's why i opened it because it looked like it'd been opened so i opened it up myself and i was like no it hasn't been touched thank the lord so i'm very excited to try this because i know it's a bit more of an expensive but version of the collection one that I've got and that I love but I thought you know what it's about time I try something new and Kiko to be honest isn't too bad and brow powder palettes tend to last quite a while and um, I was gonna buy my collection color lash clear mascara which I use for my brows but I completely forgot so I'll have to get that tomorrow or whenever but yeah I am just so happy about that I just thought what are the odds what are the chances that I would want something from Kiko I thought you know what no I'll leave it and then I see it for so much cheaper in TK Maxx just my makeup day today let's start by so it's like i've got the drawers down here so this is a drawer set i was on about and i'm gonna potentially move all of my glitters and pigment things um into the singular drawers i'm gonna have a look through my other makeup drawers and just sort of like go through it i'm gonna time lapse this because i'm gonna also watch on my other phone it's got mirror mirror on on netflix because i do love this movie it's honestly fantastic so yeah i'm just going to go through everything i'm also going to get stuff out of the drawers themselves um and just sort of go through really um and then i'll sort of probably go through the other drawers as well just quickly time lapse wise um so yeah <laughs> revolution but i didn't have enough space so that's just going to go in one of my drawers but i've taken it out of the box um so this is how it's looking these drawers are a bit difficult because if i take this drawer out i can't take this out without taking this one out they come both at the same time and if i try and take this one out on its own this one falls down so i don't know but to be honest this is the main one i'm going to be going for in a second just take it out but i'm really happy with what how it looks um anyone that has like a makeup collection that they want to be proud of they know that you know aesthetically pleasing makeup collections are always the way to go so yeah i've got my prime up mascaras here urban decay one got my pigment from um my dazzle dust pigment from barry m that's the one that i'm currently using got my two face peach perfect loose powder um so i've never used that and i need to use that up there's nothing special but it is decent got my MUA new collection so this is how to take this compartment out i'm going to tidy it up and just sort through the rest of my makeup collection right so just looking in here there's not really anything that i can there's probably a couple of bits just so i could tidy it up a bit because it's quite cramped and um, i definitely need to clean out my drawers at some point which i could probably do today but i don't really want to faff about too much so i don't know whether you can i think you can see down here i've got my really grim revolution beauty sponge so i'm going to take that out because yeah, i've got a new one like the difference between these two sponges is insane i definitely keep mine a lot longer than i should palettes here because this is my everyday makeup drawer let's be honest i never really gravitate to these on an everyday basis so i think i'm going to change it up clear it out a bit um this is the primark primer spray which i do really like it's good for dampening your beauty sponge and also um it's really good um actually as a proper like refresh for the skin before i do my makeup this is a new find that i tested in a primark testing video i'll link it down below if you haven't watched it it's got pump it's actually really really lovely um got a brow palette okay this is literally filthy um so i'm gonna have a look in here because like there's just a variety of things in here and i literally do not need to right this can go in my everyday makeup drawer because i'm really loving it at the moment um the double take palette by primark especially the face product side these two products have incorporated themselves into my everyday makeup routine so they can go that can go in there um and i've got like little eyeshadow palettes 
I have Revolution, Too Faced, and that can go in like so. Okay, um, this, which I do love, it's so grubby now, um, can go in my face drawer, wrong one, um, because I don't use it enough to warrant it being in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, this, however, is quite convenient and it's got bronzer shades, so that might actually go back in there. Um, brow palette, I don't know where the hell this is going to go. Um, bung it in there for now. Um, the skin prep one from Primark can go in my primer drawer. Uh, da -da -da -da. okay, mascara wise. Um, okay. Right, I'm just gonna basically just go through this drawer, see what I want to get rid of, if there's anything, and I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> There's only a few bits up here, so I'm gonna you put this, which is the MUA Pro Base Primer Oil with Gold Flakes, in a giveaway because I'm just not gonna use it, and I really wanted to, but I want to do an MUA Base giveaway anyway, and this is brand new, never been touched, so I thought that'd be perfect. I'm gonna chuck this, but I'm gonna put it in my empties basket, um, which is it's just disgusting. Um, and the W7 Eyelash Mascara because it's well and truly done with, so that's gonna go in my empties. Uh, this bourgeois bronzer which i used to love but it's so orangey undertone and it smells really gone off now so i'm gonna throw that in the bin um and i'm gonna clean this and give this to someone if anyone wants it so i just thought i'm gonna mention this as this giveaway in as many vlogs or videos as possible so as many people can enter as they want to because obviously it's open for a month so be prepared to skip this if you've heard about it already but i will link i will have linked the primark giveaway in every single video so you can access it if you haven't entered already but this is how the basket's looking like i'm not adding anything else now it is full to the brim um so yeah but i'm really happy with the little extras that i added um so yeah and keep your eyes peeled for future primark theme giveaways because i've got some planned and i'm very excited about it um so yeah um if you want to have a look at in depth about most of the products except a few like this wasn't included in the video this set wasn't included in the video and i swear there was something else no they were well maybe it was it that was that then oh okay maybe it was just those two but if you want to see these products in more depth and just hear about why i'm doing the giveaway then go check out the link in the description once you've watched this vlog um but yeah i'm very happy i might store this somewhere else when i sort out the rest of my room but currently it's on my wooden block but yeah but I'm very happy with how all of this is looking. I've put in this drawer the Revolution Brow Palette because it literally fit perfectly. Um, so yeah, but in this bottom drawer, I've got glittery products, glitter eyeliners, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, the next job at some point will be cleaning my makeup brushes. I've cleaned the top of here. It looks white and clean and perfect. How long that will last, who knows? Um, if I move my shoulder light like back. Um, I've now just got it a lot more simplified, a lot more organised, believe it or not. And I'm very happy with how it's all looking. Um, so, yes. Um, and this, like, I love my mascara section looking really, really empty because it means I don't have so many mascaras to use. But this is my favourite one at the moment, which is the Primark Full Slash Queen. It's honestly insane. It's only £3. So, yeah. I'm really happy with the palettes I've got here because it doesn't look as cluttered. But I like how my eyeshadows are looking. So now I've got this, which brings me a lot of joy. They're really packed in too, which I also really like. I don't like it when it's got loads of movement, which might sound weird. And I've got my smaller palettes there, some random things in that basket. And then like Revolution and things like that. And then in this drawer, I've just got all my face palettes and things. This actually looks so battered. It's quite shameful, but it is a really great palette if you want a new highlighter palette that's relatively cheap because it's £10 from Superdrug. Um, and this is how my new makeup drawers look in. So yeah, I'm very happy. My wardrobe, I've taken a couple of bits off. Like, look how dusty it is, it's disgusting. This is the only organized basket I've got. Like I could take that out now. Um, which is my giveaway basket. It's got all the bits and pieces. And for you guys, this is my 
1,300 subscriber giveaway prize. So when I hit 1,300 subscribers, this will be sent to one of you guys, but I'll be doing a giveaway video um, or including it in a vlog when I hit that. So yeah, let's get to 1,300. I'm not that far away now, actually. So yeah, and then other bits and pieces that are building up for a giveaway are in this basket. In here, there's all sorts. Like seriously, it just needs some organizing and I've got loads of these dotted around. So when I finally organize underneath my bed, which is a job for another day, um, I'm gonna be using these to section everything off. So I have been super busy since I vlogged my breakfast this morning. I've waxed some makeup on, I've got dressed, and I'm gonna head out. I've changed my bed in, I've organized stuff, I have cleared away things, put my washing away, put my studio light away, so I've got a nice clear floor. My wash bin is full of bedding now, so you know. But I'm in mean, a really, really good sort of like productive day compared, well, afternoon compared to other days this weekend. But I'm going to pop out into town, so I want to go to Superdrug to check if the MUA count has been restocked. I might treat myself to a Kokoro. I'm not sure. I'm kind of craving one. Um, and Chelsea, if you're watching this, you'll understand what I mean. Um, katsu chicken. Is it katsu curry? Yeah, katsu curry. Whatever it is. It tastes amazing. It's my favourite thing ever with rice and gravy. Oh, the sauce. Oh. Anyway, I might get myself that, but I need to get myself some little bits from Superdrug anyway, or I might go to Boots, depending, because obviously the reward system is so much better there. So, yeah, but who knows? I'm looking really sweaty already. I've been testing out the Wet n Wild setting spray, and it's all right, but, like, I'm sweating, and you can tell, and I'm pretty sure a setting spray is supposed to hide that. <laughs> So I'm back home, I popped round to my grandma's and as you would have seen, I did get a Kokoro and I actually ate all of it, but one piece of chicken. I'm really proud of myself because I never normally can eat it all. Um, but these are the bits I picked up from Boots. Um, I picked up because I have the Boots um, app so I can keep track of my points and how much they're worth and stuff. I get also offers and I've got an offer if you spend £10 on beauty products then you get um, 300 points, like makeup items. 300 points put on your car which I thought was amazing. So... I have wanted this for the longest time, but I just haven't had an excuse to buy it. But look how gorgeous that looks. It's from Obsession. Um, it's, yeah, just gorgeous. I had the purple one, if you remember, but I put it in a giveaway. So I literally used it once or twice and it just didn't look right on me. But this is a lighter one and it's called Lightning Glow. I want to try lots of different brand ones of these because there's so many affordable ones i definitely want to try the one from revolution that's 10 pounds but this retails for six pounds it just looks gorgeous how much do you get in here you get 100 ml product and it's got a obviously it's got the nozzle and i'm just so so excited and can anyone appreciate my fresh bed sheets oh like how gorgeous so yeah i got that i also got one my collection color lash clear mascara that i use on my brows because as you may or may not have known i needed a new one because my other one was so rank and full of brow product so i needed this but obviously it was 1.99 so that was seven pound 99 so i needed something for three quid and i couldn't find anything i didn't want to just buy something for the sake of it i could have bought something for a giveaway i guess but i just want to get something i was going to use so i picked up the wet and wild brow kit in ash brown this was the only shade they had um in my local boots on the stand anyway so yeah, I'm very excited to give that a go. I might give it a go in a video or I might just give it a go in day-to-day -day life and I'll let you know how I got on with it. And then I just picked up two deodorants. So I'm back home. Basically, I had sort of a very, like, a shortish babysitting, which was really, really good. It went really well. Um, I've also just been drinking this Pepsi because my throat, for some reason, even though I've been drinking a lot today, my throat's really dry. So, yeah. But I'm about to take my makeup off back to work tomorrow this long bank holiday weekend has been really chilled which to be honest i needed i saw chelsea last night which was really nice but you know when you just need those chill times yeah this was one of those times and i needed it and it was really, really nice but while i was organizing right this is gonna be really really random i got this from primark ages ago it's like a little set which hardly any of the pieces are still in there classic me but when i went to primark i bought another these because these are great for like sorting out your huge calls and everything because i felt thought i lost my other ones which were actually my bedside cabinet drawer which i put on a list that i wanted to organize which i have so not that any of you are going to care but it's always great when you find things that you think you've lost um but yeah but babysitting went really well and this week whole long weekend has just been really chilled and sometimes you just need 
the chill times to appreciate the not so chill sort of more lively going out times so you know like saturday i had a bit of a down day but i was chilling literally the whole i was literally in bed the whole day which i never do that anymore because i'm always doing something or seeing people or you know going out or seeing actually five days a week working um like a variety of different shifts and whatever which is fine because i love my job it's something i love to do but you know it just sometimes take like you just need a bit of chill time but i never really spend the whole day in bed um obviously i just feel like i've wasted a day where i could be doing stuff that's productive and obviously soon i'll be doing my level three coursework so for childcare, my eye course so it's gonna be hardcore and i cannot be you know slacking on that so i think i'm just sort of trying to recharge and sort myself like charge myself up really for doing that qualification um which i'm really really excited to just commence which won't be long now it's just the process of like setting me up on the website and everything so obviously it's all online none of it's like paper which i kind of like because it means it's always a way of finding my paperwork and my coursework because it's all online it's all saved and documented online so yeah but um oh literally i've got so many video ideas i want to film though um there's quite a few ones like revolving you guys so i want to film some challenge videos i want to do like instagram controls my life um because i've seen that those go down really well with people and also it's something a bit different um and i'm just really excited to do that so yeah i'm gonna do that probably next weekend um i also want to do some collaborations which i've got planned um like with amber and other people what else have I got planned? I also have some get ready with me's, like spilling the tea, talking about loads of stuff because I've had a variety of questions. A lot of them based around the same sort of thing, but still a variety of questions um, that I want to answer because I am very open and honest. And I pride myself in being so open and honest. And you know, I want to remain that way. So yeah i also want to film a products i want to use up sort of like a project pan series because there are so many makeup products that i've got open that i do use and love but i just then find other new products that i use and love but there are definitely things i need to use up because i don't want to waste them before i buy any new ones or start backups of things so and i have heard a lot of people like a lot of people have said to me because i did a poll on instagram that they want to see that that is something that they are interested in which is really good and it's really helpful having Instagram polls because I can find out what people want to see. Um, so yeah, and I want to post more content on my Lily's Beauty Instagram page. And I've hit 300 followers on there, which I'm really excited about. I've got a little Instagram-based giveaway for that page for hitting that. So that should be good. I've just got to have a look at my giveaway basket, but I'm pretty sure I know what I want to give away. Um, just a couple of little bits, you know. Um, but yeah, I just want to be more active on that account because I just feel like I don't ever get enough to post on there three what netflix series is people recommend and lucifer my mum said about because obviously we both want to watch it anyway but i love the mate like the guy that plays lucifer he's so good he was in miranda he played gary he's just hilarious and also he's not bad looking either which does help um so yeah um i want to watch that also you're dead to me is it old phone like i want to watch bodyguard it i just love the main actor in bodyguard he's great um i also want to watch the perfect day isn't it romantic um and things like that but there is like oh yeah that's it dead to me loads of people have said that dead to me is really really good so i want any good netflix recommendations basically so let me know in the comments because that'd be really, 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 really helpful. So I just thought I'd share this because obviously by the time you see this, everyone will know. But Love Island's Instagram have officially released who's going into the villa. And Curtis, AJ's brother, is like AJ does Strictly and he's got his own tour and everything. His brother's doing it. I am so happy. There were rumours, but no one confirmed it nor denied it. So I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm an avid keen lover of Love Island. It starts on the 3rd of June. Obviously, I know... There were certain things that are not so great about the show, obviously, and I am completely not naive to that. And I'm praying that they sort this issue out. And I think that potentially they, well, what they're telling us is they're sorting the issue out. And the aftercare that the Love Islanders get is apparently a lot better now since a load of Love Island, ex Love Islanders have come out and said they were literally, as soon as they left and did like the leaving test or whatever, that's it, they were left on their own, which I don't think is fair at all and so out of order. But apparently they're sorting that out now. Who knows what we'll find out. But the fact that Curtis is in it, I am even more buzzing to watch 
it now because I know someone and I like how they've accepted him into it. And I'm just really, I'm just really getting excited now. I'm gonna lie. No, yeah. <laughs>